The U.S. currency will no longer be the reserve currency of the world. Put a law in place back in 2008. They snuck it in a big, you know, 10,000 page bill where the banks could seize the depositors and creditors uh, deposits. So people are asking me what's going on with the U.S. dollar. I'm sure most of you are aware by now. If you're not, go ahead and let you in on it. The dollar's going away. The U.S. currency will no longer be the reserve currency of the world. We will put in what's called a CBDC, which is a programmable digital currency. They've been working on that for several years. Another name for it is Biden bucks. Some people are calling it. So cash is going away. And if you're if you've not been made aware up till now, if you've not seen any news reports, because the media is mainly blacking this out. So you don't really know what's going on. But all the leaders around the world are telling everyone to dump the dollar and their citizens are following suit. So what that's going to do is just destroy the value of our currency. It will go to basically zero, just like Venezuela. If you want to see what's going to happen here, look at what happened to Venezuela when its dollar collapsed or its currency collapsed. Uh, that's exactly what's coming here. So everyone needs to be aware of this. They also, in another component, put a law in place back in 2008. They snuck it in a big you know, 10,000 page bill where the banks could seize the depositors and creditors uh, deposits and there's no guarantee or even law that says they have to give it back. So this is already happening in other countries around the world. Banks are being burnt to the ground and the media has a complete blackout on it. So that's how you know it's something they don't want you knowing about. They want you to be unaware of what's coming. So here's what I'll give you a timeline, okay? In July, they will roll out what's called the FedNow system. Now that is a basically a payment processing system, similar to PayPal or something like that. So from now on, right after that, they'll implement the digital currency. They'll crash the dollar and then they'll force you, they'll let chaos reign for a few months. I don't know, a few weeks, few months, who knows? I can't tell you exactly how long it'll take, but they need rioting to go on. They need stores to be empty, which that'll only take three days after the dollar collapses. You're going to need to have three months of food, you know, wa water, uh, just uh, necessary supplies because stores will empty out very quickly. Think back to when the COVID scam was going on and how fast people rushed and emptied out stores. Okay, well, now just imagine money getting cut off. You have no access. The banks are closed. They will not reopen during this. There's no ATMs that will work. You're just out of cash. They'll be looting. They'll be rioting. It's going to be crazy for a little bit. And they need that. They need that chaos going on so they can force you into the digital dollar system. Okay. The, the programmable digital currency. Now that's horrible for a lot of reasons. One, they can tell you where you can spend your money, when you can spend it, how much you can spend. They can penalize and take money straight out of your bank account if they don't like what you're saying or doing on social media, or if they tell you to do something like take more shots and you refuse. So if they want to give you more shots and you refuse, they can just shut off your money. Just turn it off like a light switch. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you guys have no clue. Well, a lot of people, let me say that. A lot of people have no clue what this means and how much control they're going to have over everything you do or say. It's going to be bad. However, it's probably gone too far to stop at this point. I've been telling people this for a couple of years now. Other people have been trying to tell people and wake people up. It's just not, it's not worked. Everybody's asleep. Everybody's focused on, you know, what the mainstream media is, is talking about on any given day, all these crises they keep creating to distract your attention on what's going on here. So it is what it is at this point. Once the FedNow system goes in place in July, it's going to go full online in July. Okay. Once that happens, at some point between now and the end of the year, they are going to crash everything. It'll be the worst crash in human history. However, it's going to take phases for them to completely crash it. Okay. So the first thing they got to do is put the Fed now system in place. Then they have to put the digital currency in place. That'll happen after, I don't know, a month, two months of chaos going on, rioting, all that kind of stuff. When people are just literally at their wits end, then the government will come out and say, okay, we're going to, we figured out a way to let things go back to normal. We're going to implement this digital currency system. It's much more stable than the fiat currency. And if you want to get some of your money back that was seized by the banks, the evil banks, and they're all in on it together. You guys got to start waking up to the fact that all of this stuff, governments, banks, everything is owned on the planet by 13 families. 
they hide behind the scenes, they use shell corporations, things of that nature, asset protection, to where it's very difficult to track who's behind it all. But the governments, those are just puppets. They don't have any power. All these wars and everything, they, they control it all on both sides. Okay, they fund both sides. They're profiting off this misery and uh, death and, and sickness and all this stuff. It's just a game. And people need to wake up to that fact. It's all just scripts. And like a movie, it's basically professional wrestling playing out on a global scale. Where they have a script, you got good guys, you got bad guys in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, they're all hanging out, getting drunk, and, uh, and becoming trillionaires off of our misery and suffering. So this has been going on for thousands of years. It's going to keep going on until we stand up and put a stop to it. So what's going on with stocks right now? You know, there's, there's, there's schemes in the stock market. It's all rigged. I tell people stay out of that thing unless you're knowledgeable enough and on the inside enough to where you're rigging the game because it's all rigged. So if you're not aware uh, that the game is rigged, then you're the sucker at the table and you're going to get taken. You may have a win here, a win there, but overall, you're going to lose. That's all there is to it. The house always wins, just like Vegas. They didn't build those multi-billion dollar hotels off people winning, okay, when they come play in the casino. They can only build those things off your losses. Same thing with stocks, bonds, all that type of thing. It's all just scams and rigged, but that's fine. What's going on right now with the stocks? The reason it's going up is because they're suckering people in. Okay, they're, they're trying to claim there's going to be a rally, all this. No, stocks are going to lose 80 to 90% of their value by the end of this year. Uh, right after they crash the dollar, stocks are going to crash. Real estate's going to crash. They're going to crash it all, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you need to be scared. It doesn't mean you need to be in a panic. It means you need to position yourself to where you can benefit and capitalize on all the chaos that's coming. Because wherever there's chaos, there's opportunity. There's opportunity to help those that did not prepare in time. There's opportunity to get things at a, at a steal, at a discount that's unprecedented, okay? Real estate's gonna drop 30 to 50% in values, stocks 80 to 90. All crypto will be outlawed and go to zero. Been saying that for two years as well. The reason for that, and it's common sense, guys, okay? If you wanna know what's coming here, look at what China's done for the last, let's say 10 years, that's exactly what's coming here, okay? They're gonna try to disarm us so that uh, we can't resist what they're doing. And then they're gonna to try to make us completely dependent on them for universal basic income that's all digital. They can just shut it off anytime they want if you don't comply with whatever their orders are. So what they're doing right now with stocks is they're allowing it to go up to sucker people in to getting in, thinking there's gonna be a bull run and that they're gonna make a lot of money. That's not gonna happen. It's gonna collapse overnight on a Friday and it'll happen on a Friday. On the news, you'll hear about a financial collapse happening. The next morning you'll wake up, banks will be closed. ATMs will not work. Okay, that's the beginning of the crash. Now, that's just gonna, like I said, create the panic to force people into the digital currency. And then they'll allow, once people get on the digital platform, and then you'll, once they tell you, okay, we're switching over to this digital platform, it's gonna save things, it's gonna make things go back to normal semi. You're gonna have about 30 days, they're gonna to say, to turn in all cash or convert it over to digital, or you're gonna lose it. Okay, well, during that time of them shutting off the money and before they implement the digital, literally, if you've got cash put back, and I don't mean in a bank, you better get it out of the bank. Only keep 30 days worth of money in a bank at any given time or you're going to lose it. Take it, put it in a safe, someplace safe, and then you're going to be able to pick up things literally for pennies on the dollar. Now, there's two sides of this coin. One, it's great to be able to pick up things at pennies on the dollar. The downside is you're doing it at other people's expense. Now, I'm of the mindset that just because I know how to profit off of collapses and things of that nature and other people don't or a lot of people don't, doesn't mean I shouldn't benefit or doesn't mean I shouldn't profit somehow with what I've spent 32 years learning how to do. It's the same thing the ultra wealthy do. The difference is I'm sharing this information with you. They're not going to. In fact, they're going to try. They're going to lie. They're going to cheat. They're going to steal. They're going to manipulate you in any way they can to keep you from knowing. Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. His holy name is Yahweh, the power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His only begotten son, the root and offspring of King David, 
the bright and morning star, the king of kings, the lord of lords. These are all his titles. The conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. The deliverer of Israel. That's what his name means. Yahweh Shai means the deliverer. He is the deliverer. He gets the, all the glory and the, all the honor. And again, all praise is honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, our king, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit that allows us to do this work. Rakar Kodash is the spirit of holy. Yes, beloved, he said few things in this video. This gentleman here telling you how you can buy things cheap when this whole thing collapsed. And they're always hoping that when everything settles down, they're going to build back better because they are actually thinking that this world is going to go on forever. This is their mindset. That's why it says it's a, there's a way to make money even when this whole chaos starts. But the difference is this thing here will never get better for them, okay? There's no going back to that old system. The moment this thing collapses, it is the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, Yahweh Shai's kingdom that is coming. But And then the other thing too I want to mention through the spirit is that if the Lord is not with you, none of ev everything that you have, you've, you've stocked up and you bought and preparing for this thing here, family, it's not going to help you. The Lord is only going to be with those eh, that made covenant with him, his men. Eh? That's right. The one that was seeking the Lord before he brought the judgment upon this earth. He's only going to be dealing with an elect. That's right. These are the one the Lord is going to be protect. The, the Lord is going to protect them through the chaos that is coming. Yes, he said, this guy says, yes, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be, it says it's the, the Christ that is coming is going to be like no other. It has never happened before. And finally, that took me to the book of Daniel. Hmm? Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. What did Daniel say? Hey, let's bring this thing out. What did Daniel say? Daniel Chapter 12, verse 1. It says here, And at that time, what time? That's right, the time of Jacob's trouble. Colla sorry, society collapsing right in front of your eyes. That time, when the banks are closed, when there's chaos on the street, people can't get access to their money, they can't buy food, they can't buy water. That's the time. When the wars are going on, the Third World War, family, there's just chaos upon chaos. That is the time that he, the, uh, the Bible is referring to, the Lord is referring to. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up. Who is Michael, you ask? The head archangel. That's right. He's directly behind you. I was shy. He's all about war. Mm -hmm. That's how he's going to meet these nations. That's right. That's how he's coming. Because he's coming for war. He's coming to redeem his elect. And then uh, he's bringing fire. He says here, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. You hear that? A time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. And everyone that shall be found written in the book. And the only people that are going to be delivered are the elect. You heard what the guy said about the digital currencies. Eventually, in order to survive, be part of the B system, you have to take the micro to the CHIP. That is the only way you're going to make it in the society. You want to continue going to university? You want to continue working? Yes, continue to receive your paycheck? This is what it's going to, you go, you're going to have to do. But we are here to tell you the mouthpiece of the Lord that it is your father that is allowing them to do this. Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, he's allowing them to do this. The Lord is going to test our faith. Do you have faith to trust that no matter what this devil is about to do, eh? you're going to trust the Lord that he will provide for you. Remember, he is your God. He is your light. The Lord says, in that time, he says, I'm going to be your guide. He says, let go of mortal thought. 
Eh? Let's go of moral thought. Don't worry about what these guys are saying. We bring out this lesson just to remind this is what is coming. But they are carnal and we are spiritual. You hear that? We are spiritual. We have faith. Hmm. We know that the Lord is doing this. And at the end of the day, our life is in the hand of the Lord. If it is his will to take us back into the spirit world, then it is his will. But we are not going to be what? Busy buying that and that. If you can, if you can get a, cu a couple of, uh, what, a can of beans and a bag of rice, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you got to have faith and believe that. Listen, no matter what, the Lord is going to make a way for you. And faith without work is also dead. And we remember what uh, was Joseph did? And Joseph knew that what? They were going to be farming in Egypt. What did he do? He stuck up. Eh? And at the end of the day, guess what? Everybody came to him. They were giving their children for, uh, you know, so that they can eat. Eh? They were giving up to the family, their jewelry, their, 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 their what is it called? Their, uh, what is it? Basically giving their property. Because family, if you have grain and you have all the gold in your house, eh? you need food. You're not going to eat those gold, right? So yes, Joseph, Joseph made Pharaoh rich. And nothing wrong with getting, like I said, a bag of rice or something, just in case. Eh? But at the end of the day, our faith lies in our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Eh? He says here, I read this already, but I want to go to second book of Ezra. Quickly, please bear with me. Let's bring it up. I'm just going to be short. This is going to be short. I just want to bring this in out. I have some lesson that I want to get into later on. Yeah, Let's go to, where is it? Uh, oh, apocrypha. Second book of uh, Ezra 15. Yeah, from family chaos is coming. But our job is to just let you know the Lord said, warn my people. Yeah, he's talking about the digital currency is coming. It's the, Fed, the Fed now is coming. July. Family, we're only like a few weeks away from July. Things are about to escalate. It's going to be a wonderful summer. Family chaos. That's what we've been praying for. Because we know that family through much what tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Third world war is at the door. Third world war could pop off any time. Family, I got a lesson that I got to do later on, Lord willing, today, you know. But yes, we got to bring it out and glorify our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Family, let's finish it up. Let's, let's go into the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Woe wo to the world and them that dwell in. Woe means destruction. This is what the Lord is about to do. Family, the king is coming. Yahweh Shai is coming. And before Yahweh Shai come, family, the king of kings is coming. So he, like he said, this place literally have to be on fire. Let's bring her out here. Let's bring her. Family, people are losing their mind. I'll get back to Ezra, but I want to go to the blue letter word quickly. Actually, you know what? Let's open up another, another window here. 16, 11. Yeah, let's open another one here. I just want to go to Luke quickly. Luke 20. Where is Luke? Luke 21. Yeah, it says, man's heart failing them, family. Man's heart failing them. People are worried. People are worried. But we are rejoicing. <laughs> because this whole kingdom is coming to an end. And one is coming. The Israelites' kingdom is coming. So what are we doing? We are rejoicing. Eh? Thanking the Lord every moment that we are alive. Look at what he has done for us. My goodness, man. We were dead as people. But here, listen to this, beloved. Hmm? Let's get this here. Um, let's go back to the previous verse. It says what? And there shall be sign. You hear that? It says, and there shall be sign. This is how I shy. And there shall be signs, Luke chapter 21, verse 25. It says, and there shall be signs, not just one sign, family. You see the change of the moon, the, 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 the moon changes its color, the sun, family. There's so many things happening. 
and eh, volcano eruptions, earthquakes, and eh, pestilences, I mean diseases. Yes. Hmm? All these things are signs. Eh? Now they're talking about collapsing the uh the uh the Amer the dollar. Now people are worrying, how am I gonna pay my bill? How am I gonna put food on my, the, the table for my children? These are all the things that the Lord is bringing. Eh? This is what the Lord is doing. It says here, Luke 21 verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. Distress. You hear that family? Distress of nations. Yes, protests everywhere. They have no clue because from they think they, have, they can control this, but they can't control it. It doesn't matter how much money they throw at it. They can give everybody a million dollars and it's not going to make a difference because why? This is the lowest movie. Yes, he's the one directing this movie. There's not going to be no, they, 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 they're not going to be negotiating any peace. It's going to tear the world war. Because why? Yahweh Shai's kingdom is next. They are just living on a borrowed time right now. He says here, and there shall be signs in the moon and in, uh, sorry, signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. Distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves rolling eh? why is that it says here eh? it says here men's heart failing them meaning their mind losing their mind now we have society family they all hooked on drugs because this is how they are coping you hear that this is how they are they are coping eh? people are stressed out anxiety at all time family anxiety as as uh, people are suffering from anxieties eh? These are the things that are happening. And these are the things that are coming. He says, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All this leadership, your kings, your prime ministers, your president, they're not going to have answers. When the protest starts on the street family, they're going to be burning buildings down because this is what the Lord is doing. Eh? This is what the Lord is doing. Eh? And we've seen it. We've seen it. He says, shall, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? Eh? Let's go. Shall there... Hmm? Somewhere in Amos. Where is it? No, just go evil in the city. Did I miss it? Let's go evil in the city. Yeah, he must 3 6. Eh? It says, yeah, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Eh? The word, we're telling you what is coming. This is the trumpet. We are blowing the trumpet right now, warning you, telling you what is coming. He says, Yeah, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Eh? This is what is coming. It says, And there shall be evil in the city. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? Family, fear the Lord. Because the things, the things that are coming upon the earth, we need to make sure that, listen, we are in the good books of the Lord. That's why we're here. We're telling you. That's why the Lord put us here. He says, warn my people for me. Eh? He says, warn my people for me. But let's go back to Ezra. Eh? Ezra chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. It says here, woe to the world, meaning destruction, and them that dwell therein. <clears throat> For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. You hear that? The sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Why would they do that? Why would they fight against one another with sword in their hand? Because of what? Let's find out. Let's find out. Why? It said, for there shall be sedition among men. You hear that? Sedition. They're not going to be listening to their government. Hey, their leaders, police officers, whatever, martial law that they're going to implement. Nobody's going to be listening to these people. You hear that? It says, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings. You hear this, family? Yes, right. This is what is coming. They shall not regard their kings. They're not going to be listening to their leaders. Hey? And princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're taking matters into their own hands. You hear that? You hear that? It says here, and a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to, because they're going to be blockage. That's right. Blockade everywhere. Blockade. There will be martial laws. That's right. 
there will be crumbs because if you do if you refuse to take the micro to the chip family they're going to come down with great wrath the book tells us everything everything that is happening right now is written in the book eh? it is written in the holy scripture this is the word of the lord it says for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid the men are afraid if the men are afraid what do you think is going to happen to the women eh? huh. What do you think is going to happen to the women? That's right. All that pride is going to be gone in a, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. That's right. This is the time that we are entering into. That's right. And the men of the Lord, indeed, that day, they are going to be what? A shadow for these women. This is the time to put pride away, seek the Lord, and don't trust in this system. That's why Isaiah chapter 30 tells you, don't trust in this system. Esau is about to be taken down by Yahweh Shai. The system, this place is finished. Your only way out is by seeking your king, Yahweh Shai. That's it. Nobody is going to deliver you on that day. Nobody. Not Biden. Biden can save him. Look at, look at Biden. Does he look like someone that can save you? He can't even save himself. He's not even all up there. Kamala Harrison, all these leaders, family, don't put your trust in Egypt. Don't trust the system. It is finished. The Hawashai is coming. And the Lord is only going to be dealing with his elect. The Lord is only going to be dealing with his elect. He says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. You hear that? Because of why? Let's go. They shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Once family, they collapse the economy and brought, bring out the digital system. A lot of people are going to go against it, and that's going to cause chaos on the street. That's right. People are going to take matters into their own hands. That is what is coming. Eh? That is what is coming. That is why it says it's going to be a time like no other. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, and then what is it called? Um, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. So we will leave it there. We will live there. I don't want this thing to be long. Yes. The system that you had, you, you trusted. That's right. Esau system, Babylon the Great, the Western world. That's right. It is finished. Yahweh Shai is coming. And from here is Third World War. And then the midst of that Third World War, the King Yahweh Shai is going to show up. He told us he's going to show up. That's right. Michael and the angel, they fought against the dragon. The da dragon represents Esau's army in that third world war. And 2 Ezra chapter 13 tells us, when he was done with them, he says what? Nothing was to be perceived, but just smoke and dust. Roughly power phrasing. That's right. He's going to put his, he's going to put a spirit on them, in them to fight him. Because family, it, it's, it's not fun when you're beating somebody down and they are not fighting back. No. You want them to fight back. That's what is coming. Yahweh Shai is coming to take over his kingdom. That's right. So with that, let's give double honors to the head apostles that taught us this truth. The head apostles from the great millstone that taught us this truth. Yes, the elders, the bishop. Yes, double honors to them. Salutation, peace to all the brothers. Day in and day out. And you see them on the highways, the byways, and putting their body as a living sacrifice, feeding the sheep like Yahweh Shai asks us to do. Yes, salutation, peace to you. And as we all pray daily for each other, we pray that the Lord will continue to put a hedge of protection around his elect and deliver us and bring a quick destruction to Babylon and all the various places around the world and establish a righteous kingdom. That's what we are looking forward to. A righteous kingdom where you will able to you'll be able to identify 
a boy from a girl. Yes, there will be no confusion in that kingdom. That's the kingdom that we are looking forward to. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Yahweh is his name. That's right. The only power that matters and his only son. That's right. Our big brother. Yes. Our teacher. Our shepherd. The conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the root and offspring of King David. The king of kings, the Lord of lords. His name is Yahweh Shai Shalom.